around the Earth today, we have thousands and thousands of objects orbiting around in the near frictionless environment of the cold vacuum of space. And that now is a big hazard to future space flight, uh, not just to robotic spacecraft, but also to people working, for example, on the space station. What we need to do is to go into space and start to clean it up. The question is how to do that. Left to their own devices, the satellites don't readily fall down. They may take many tens, if not hundreds of years to fall down. So we need to accelerate that process. And here at Surrey, we've developed a technology to enable us to do that for satellites which are in this bottom region of space, what we call low Earth orbit. Removed debris was launched from Cape Canaveral on a Falcon 9 spacecraft and was launched up to the ISS on the 2nd of April. Then astronauts unpacked removed debris from its container and put it onto a slide table that goes through an airlock through the International Space Station. So we'll have a CubeSat which is released, a large target being inflated, and then the net ejected and wrapping itself round the target and bringing the whole lot home. The question is how to bring this debris down. What we'll do is we'll deploy a large sail and this sail will drag against the residual atmosphere, bringing energy out of the uh, orbit, bringing the satellite down lower and lower. And of course, as it comes down lower, the atmospheric density gets bigger and bigger. And so the effect really builds up. And eventually, when we're up at uh, about a couple of hundred kilometers, 180 kilometers, the uh, frictional effect of the uh, the air rushing by us is enough to heat us up to a temperature hotter than the surface of the sun. In fact, the satellite will completely vaporise, just end up as a puff of gas.